Hey guys, it's Kaylor and welcome to the YouTube channel. So today I'm starting a daily UI series. I signed up at dailyui.co. I'll link, uh, I'll put the link in the description uh, if you guys are interested in checking it out. So every single day of the week, so they're going to send me an email, so no weekends, and it's going to give me something to design. Like today, for example, is a sign-up form. Uh, it's very brief. It doesn't explain too much. They say it's up to you how you interpret what they send you. Uh, so today we're going to be doing this for a mobile site. And this is supposed to last uh, 100 days. So with no weekends, 100 days is going to be pretty long. So <laughs> I'm interested in seeing how long I can actually do this. Uh, let's get started designing a sign-up form in Adobe XD. All right, so I'm going to start by pasting in the iOS kit status bar. And uh, that's almost visible, but it's there. And let's do a logo for the company that we're going to be signing up for. So I'm going to do like 120 by 120. And we're just going to place that somewhere around there for now. I also want to have two boxes, one for the username and one for the password or one for the email and password, either one. Uh, I don't want the user to have to repeat the password, so we're going to have an eyeball to hide and show the password. I feel like repeating it gets a little annoying. So let's add a box and add another one there. I'll adjust the sizes in a minute. And then I want a button down at the bottom to sign up, and I want it touching the bottom of our artboard. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I know on this one, I want it to be like 65 tall. Line that up. So what else do we need? Um, I think that's pretty much it. We need some icons, like an X icon to close this out. And I think we're good. All right, so for this box, let's try something like 45, 50-ish, somewhere around there. I'm going to go with 50, I think, so we can get some good spacing in there. And this box is just going to be a outline. Uh, we're not actually going to be using it. So let's go with like something like 280 wide. Yeah, that's good. All right, so we're going to have the... Let's do an email. So we're going to sign up with email. And I'm going to change this to Proxima Nova font. Go ahead and get that out of the way. And maybe around 14. I'm going to place that in the top right corner. So that's going to be at the top. And then we're going to have our actual email address right here. So let's put in a junk email for now. Junk at junk.com. Change that to Proxima Nova. 20 might be good. We might increase that. And we're going to place that probably 5 below that. Then we're going to need an underline to go below that. So I'm going to draw out a line for now. And I'm going to touch it to the bottom of our text. And we're going to go down 5 pixels. So we have even spacing there and there. And I'm going to extend this out now to 280. And I think we can delete our box. So we didn't actually use the full height of 50. We used about 45. And something like that is what it's going to look like. I'm going to also align these up to the left so they're all good and even. And make sure they're centered on the artboard. So we're going to copy this and paste it down below. Or you can hold Alt and drag like I am. And this is going to be our password. And then our password for now, I'm going to use uh, this key. But we're going to put circles in as bullets in a minute. So that's looking good. And let's add an icon over here and an icon over here. So put that there. 20 by 20 is probably OK. And I'm going to center that up with our email and go out 5 beside it. And I'm going to do the same with our password. Go out 5 to the left. And those should be perfectly lined up. Yes. All right, so we're going to have an icon there and there. And then we also need one more icon over here to show and hide the password so the user doesn't have to retype it. And that, we're just going to line that up with this. OK. We might need to make some adjustments, but for now, that's looking OK. I'm going to add some spacing now in between these two. So let's go 
10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Maybe up 10. Okay. And let's make sure once again that everything is centered, which now it is. Actually, let's undo that. Uh, this line needs to be centered. That's going to throw that off. All right, so what else do we need? We need some text down here, and this is going to be sign up. Leave that at 20. Change this to Proxima Nova. We'll play with the font weights when we get into the design. I'm also going to have uh, kind of a, a line right here that says let's get started. So I'm going to move this up out of the way. Let's get started and change that to Proxima Nova as well and on this I think 20 is okay and that's gonna be 20 below that and then we can position this probably around 90 would look okay yeah we're getting there and then I also wanna have uh, something that says if you already have an account you can log in so I'm gonna paste that in and we're probably going to make this around like 16 and make it proximate of as well. Then I want to go up five from this button. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Do we need a navigation? So if we're making this a mobile, a mobile site, we are going to need a navigation, but if it's going to be an app, we probably don't because this is probably going to be like after the splash screen. So I think we're going to do this as a site. So this is just like the mobile view for a website. So I'm going to have a mobile navigation on the left and probably a close button over here on the right to take us back home. Um, or we can just use the close button. Yeah, let's just do an X. Uh, so I'm going to grab a rectangle, zoom in, drag that out, and let's add the border radius. I'm going to make this this gray color and remove the border. And let's make this a little skinnier right there. And we'll do 3 by 30. Then I'm going to duplicate this and rotate it. And then I'm going to align both of them horizontally and vertically centered. Okay, so we have a little plus. And then if we rotate it, we have our X. And then we can scale it down. Something like that. I'm going to group that for now. And let's position this um, probably 20 in and 20 down from the status bar. Or actually, let's go 10 down from the status bar. 20 and 30. I'm going to launch this and see how that feels. That's in a good position, I think. Uh, when we see the status bar more, I might need to uh, adjust that. All right, so I think that's all we need for our prototype. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is create some icons. We need to make a logo. We might do that in Illustrator. And we need to start designing uh, all of this. So that's it for the wireframe. All right, so I've imported some icons from a icon video I did a while back. I uh, showed you how to make these. Um, go check that out if you're interested. So I'm going to scale these down so they'll fit in those little boxes. Let's just drag them over here. They're hard to select since they're lines. I'm going to have to zoom in more. There we go. And that's probably about the right size that we need. So I'm going to grab the eyeball. Actually, we need to be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to scale them up. About there should be good. So I'm going to put the eyeball inside of this box and center it up and then delete the box. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the lock, center it up inside this box. Drag it into place and delete that. And actually, instead of deleting the boxes, I'm actually going to hide them because we might need to make adjustments to this later. Didn't think about that, so go ahead and do that for that one. If I can grab this lock and place it over here, we'll do the same thing. Center it up, and then hide the box. And then we'll do the same thing for the email. Come on. Man, I hate using line icons sometimes. OK, there we go. 
position that, zoom in a bit, light it up, and hide the box. Let's see how that looks. Great, okay. So the next thing I want to do is start picking out a highlight color. And so to do that, I'm gonna go with the sign up button and I'm gonna remove the border. I wanna go with probably a red color that's like got a little bit of orangish in there, maybe a little pink. I'm gonna grab a color code. All right, let's try this, see how this looks. Yeah, I like that. It's got like a little uh, pinkish red going on. And so we need to change this now to white. And let's see what semi bold looks like. I uh, like the uh, like regular better. And position that. I think it's off a little bit. There we go. Okay, so for the password, we're gonna need bullets. So I'm gonna grab my circle and create a decent sized bullet, something like that. And I'm gonna line that up and I'm gonna change the fill color to the gray we've been using and remove the border. That's a little too big, so I'm gonna scale it down. Something like that might work. Yeah. So I'm gonna delete this and then I'm gonna copy these. Let's try three spacing. We may need to space it out a little bit more. We'll do a decently long password. Yeah, that looks good. Um, I'm gonna do a few more of those so we can remove some of that white space. Perfect. All right, so the first thing I wanna do next is I want to add uh, a good gray color to the things we're gonna keep gray. So for example, this text, I don't want it slightly this dark, so I'm gonna lighten that up until I'm happy with it. Uh, so the user can still see it, except I don't want it like too dark. So I'm gonna copy that gray code and we're gonna use that for the underlines as well, I believe. Much better. Okay, so for the bullets, I'm gonna make those black and I'm gonna use a black I use all the time, which is 2C, 2C, 2.9. Uh, it's a little bit better looking than solid black in my opinion. And for the password and email, we're gonna make those the gray since they're not so important. Um, also gonna create the uh, gray colors for the icons as well. Uh, the let's get started text, we might use a color, but for now I'm gonna change it to gray. So I've quickly just paused real quick and I took a look at this and seen what I wanna do. Um, that needs to be black, for example. Uh, I've looked at a few things and I want to play around with it, but I don't want to just drag it along. So I'm going to do kind of a little speed art real quick and fix some of the adjustments that I need to make. Like you. All right, as you'll see, I made several spacing adjustments and color adjustments, as well as changing the sign up button. Instead of having it full down here at the bottom, we don't have enough information on the page. I thought it kind of looked weird. So I decided to move that up and put our already have an account down here below it. Also changed the login to red, so it symbolizes a button. Changed these to red and adjusted the underline so that it's all the way underneath this whole section. So I think since we're starting our UI challenge off on a sign-in form or sign-up form, I'm just gonna have this kind of a uh, UI logo. So we're basically signing into the UI challenge, I guess. Uh, so I'm gonna change this to a circle and I'm gonna make it our red color and remove the border. And then I'm gonna add a UI text and let's change this to Proxima Nova and let's try 60 font. I'm gonna put that in the middle there and then I'm gonna change it to white. We could cut this out from this circle, but I'm not going to 
just in case we have to change something later. Uh, I don't really see the point in it. So line that up. I'm going to group that together. And these I'm going to slide down so it touches the top of email. I'm going to add um, the same amount of spacing we have in between the bottom of our inputs and our button, which is I think 80. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. There we go. And I also copied over the black status bar for the iPhone so we can add that and see what that looks like. And I'm going to live preview it. There we go. Okay, so if we want to go into some details on this, uh, just to get a few more artboards in here. Uh, on this, I'm going to have uh, this called uh, password. So when we select the eyeball, we want this to change to a darker gray and be able to view our password. Uh, before we do this, let's actually change this email address from junk to something else. Uh, Kaler uh, Edwards at youtube.com. That's not a real email, but it looks better than junk at junk. So put this in here. Okay, and now for our password. All right, so let's delete those and ungroup that, drag this down, and I'll paste in that. That'll be our password. I'm gonna make sure that's centered. Uh, for the color on the eyeball, so when we select it, I'm gonna use a red. I don't think this gray will look good enough, so I'm gonna change that. And now we can prototype that. So this eyeball, if I can select it, come on. That'll take us over here, and I don't want a transition on that. And then on this one, it'll take us back with no transition. Perfect. So we can run that. So we can see our password and hide it. So that looks pretty good. So that's going to be the sign-up form for day one of the Daily UI. So be looking out for more of these on the channel. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And as always, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey guys, it's Kaler. Thanks for watching the video. Click here to subscribe to my channel for new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you want to see this channel grow even more, don't forget to share this video. You can click the share button down below. Over here is YouTube's recommendation just for you, so go check out that video and let me know what you think in the comments. Up here is my newest video, and if you haven't seen it already, go give it a thumbs up. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.